last time we talked about toxic positivity. This time, the conversation's just a little more personal. It's that one, you know, the one you've been dreading. Spend any time on streamer, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, whatever other social media platforms, you're gonna hear a sentiment expressed. The idea of selling out, where, oh, you do it for money. Well, I do it for the craft. I do it because I'm pure and I want nothing. I need for nothing. I only want to make friends and I only want to be this thing. Well, I want to tell you guys something and I need you to get close. Get close. close. I do it because I want to get paid for the efforts that I put out there. I do it because I want to be like the NBA. There's a reason they get paid a lot of money because they're good at basketball and they're the best in the world at it. I want to be part of that. The old adage, Players win and winners play. So let's get a healthier attitude around selling out and take that toxic idea of you're just doing it for money. Let's just get that to the side, okay? A better idea is the acquisition of resources should never overwrite the creation of enjoyable quality content. Simply put, good content has a better chance of bringing you money than bad content. In the previous point, we talked about how it's okay to accept money for your content. You can be paid for your efforts, just like a regular job. <sighs> okay, now when do we bring it up? How, when do we bring up subs, donations, bits? When do we bring up merch? Uh, any other monetization options? Okay, so we'll start off with a confession. Uh, your bartender, Nim, forgive me, but I used to have alerts set up in Nightbot, right? I used to have things every 10 lines go down and be like, hey, if you like the stream, you can donate. Hey, if you like the stream, you can sub. Hey, if you like the stream, you can do X other monetization option. Luckily, I didn't have them all at once, but go, of course, it's my stream. That means it's my responsibility. And of course, the internet, as you know, loves a good reckoning. So mea culpa, mea culpa, prima mea culpa. Anyways, as a more experienced content creator, I learned not to do that. I learned to let the content speak for itself. So if I can create helpful content that's enjoyable, funny content that's enjoyable, or informative content that's enjoyable, I have a higher chance of people coming back and capturing revenue. Because the first time they come by, they may be like, oh hey, I can't actually sub today because of reason X, Y, Z. All right, great. But I really like your stream, you know, I followed you, and then, oh, they come back next week. Well, maybe not then, but maybe it's the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time. I learned from my time in sales that it usually takes seven attempts to sell something to somebody. And even the best salesman in the world has like a 3% success rate. So to close out the video, I want to ask, what preconceived notions or attitudes around money as a content creator have you ran into? Were they positive? Were they negative? Were they something like way out of feel? You're like, oh my God, I didn't even think about that. So let me know down in the comments below. And as you know, guys, I stream on Twitch from Saturday to Tuesday, Saturday and Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday and Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now uh, get on out of here. I got to count up the drawers for the bar.